It's 10 trivia questions on movie monsters recorded at Tennessee Hills, Bruce Stillery in Johnson City, Tennessee. This is Trivia with Buds. What indeed? Welcome to another episode of the Trivia Buds podcast. I'm your host, Trevor Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for having some fun today. We have our last episode of our live shows recorded week. If you like this week, let me know on social media at Ryan Buds on just about everything or Trivia with Buds on Facebook. You can find me there. I do have a TikTok for Trivia with Buds where I was posting collectibles and pop culture things um, maybe a year ago, and then I kind of fizzled out on it. But I should get back on TikTok putting trivia videos up. That would be fun to do. So follow me on all those platforms and let me know what you thought about live shows week. Uh, If you hated it, if you're like, I just want the sound quality to be recorded in your office at home, Ryan, that's good feedback. Let me know. If you like just to switch it up a little bit and it sounds like uh, people having fun at a bar playing, um, I'll try and do that again in the near future. Uh, Very easy to record those on my iPhone while I'm hosting all over the country. Uh, Before we get into today's episode on Movie Monsters, we have a couple of warm-up questions. I am out of Geek Out Challenge cards, so I got to find a new game to to, uh, read questions for you in the opening here. But this is from the game... Uh, what is this game called? It's a Who Am I game. I think it's called Smartass, and it has a donkey on the cover. But these are some of the hard-ass questions from Smartass. So we'll see if you know these questions. Number one for your warm-up here, what achy, breaky heart singer won the American Music Singer, American Music Award for Singer? Oh, God. <laughs> this is hard just to read. <laughs> what achy, breaky heart singer won the American Music Award for Single of the Year in 1992? Who do you think that was? It was Billy Ray Cyrus, father of Miley Cyrus and that other kid who has a lot of tattoos. Here's another question. In the Wild West, what place was referred to as the Calaboose? Calaboose was the jail. And we'll do two more quick ones. On which part of the human body is the metatarsal arch? That would be your foot. And what profession made the Minnesota-based Mayo family famous? It is not condiments. It's medicine, the Mayo Clinic. And Minnesota-based Mayo family famous. There you go. Just some warm-up questions in place of the Geek Out Challenge card. And I'll figure out something else we could do on future episodes to warm you guys up. All right, we're going to jump into this live episode from Tennessee Hills Brew Stillery on Movie Monsters right now. Here we go. All right, this is round number two at Tennessee Hills Brew Stillery. It is called Movie Monsters. All these questions about monsters from films. Here's number one. What one-word monster had major theatrical films released in 1998 and 2014? What one-word monster had major theatrical films released in 98 and 2014? Number one. Here comes question number two. In the movie Monsters, Inc., the character Celia May has what for hair? Number two. In the movie Monsters, Inc., Celia has what for hair? Number two. Here comes question number three for Movie Monsters. What decade did the creature from the Black Lagoon come out? Was it the 1930s, 40s, or 50s? The creature from the Black Lagoon came out in one of those decades. Was it the 1930s, 40s, or 50s? Number three. Question number four. Who did the voice of the monster in a 2016 film called When a Monster Calls? Who did the voice of the monster in the 2016 film, When a Monster Calls, number four. And here comes question number five. What killed the giant tarantula in a movie called Tarantula? Was it napalm, poison, water, or acid? Number five. What killed the giant tarantula in a classic monster movie called Tarantula? Was it napalm, poison, water, or acid? Number five. Here's question number six. What was the thing that couldn't die in the movie, the thing that couldn't die? Was it, I don't know, I don't have choices, but I have this hint. It's a body part. Number six. What was the thing that couldn't die in a movie called The Thing That Couldn't Die? Hint, it's a body part. Number six. We got the second half of the round here. Number seven on your list, Boris Karloff 
was in many universal monster movies. His voice narrates what yearly Christmas special. Number seven, Boris Karloff was in many universal monster movies. His voice narrates what yearly Christmas special. Number seven. Question number eight on your list. What actor starred as a man investigating strange things in the Mothman prophecies? Number eight, what actor starred as a man investigating strange things in the Mothman prophecies? We've made it to question number nine. Little Monsters is a movie starring Howie Mandel as a monster friend to what child actor? Number nine, Little Monsters starred Howie Mandel as a monster friend to what child actor? Number nine. This is one of the first movies I ever remember seeing as a kid. Number nine. Here is question number ten. Who directed the film Young Frankenstein? Who directed the film Young Frankenstein? Number ten. Who directed Young Frankenstein? Your bonus question for two points at the end of Monster Movies. For two points, name either of the first two Universal Monster Movies that were released in 1923 or 1925. So Universal is the film studio that made a lot of those classic monster movies. You just have to name either one of the first two for 1923 or 1925. Two points if you get either one. That's the end of round number two, Movie Monsters. We'll be back with the answers in a bit. Are back with the answers to round number two, Movie Monsters. One point for every question you got right, two points for the bonus at the end. Maybe you used your doubler, one team did. Here are the answers. Number one, what one word monster had major theatrical films released in 98 and 2014? Godzilla was the answer. Number one was Godzilla. Number two, in the movie Monsters, in Celia is Mike Wazowski's girlfriend, has snakes for hair, snakes for hair. Number three, what decade did the creature from the Black Lagoon come out? That was the 1950s, the latest of those years. Number four, who did the voice of the monster in the 2016 film When a Monster Calls? Might as well call, call this Taken Four. Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson is the voice of the monster. Number five, what killed the giant tarantula in the movie Tarantula? It was Napalm. Napalm will kill anything. Even gonorrhea. Number six, what was the thing that couldn't die? Hint, it's a body part. It was a head. It was a head that couldn't die. A lot of people put hand. Some teams wrote eyeball. Number seven, Boris Karloff was in many Universal Monster movies. He also narrated How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Talking about the Grinch's heart growing and shrinking and all those things. Number eight, what actor starred as the man investigating strange things in the Mothman prophecies? Richard Gere. This is a good movie. If you haven't seen it, try and find it. And also read the book, Mothman Prophecies, scariest book I ever read. Number nine, Little Monsters starred Howie Mandel and Fred Savage from The Wonder Years. Fred Savage. And number ten, who directed the film Young Frankenstein? Mel Brooks. Your bonus for two points, you had to name either of the first two Universal Monster movies from 23 and 25. You could have said Hunchback of Notre Dame or Phantom of the Opera. Either one of those, Hunchback of Notre Dame or Phantom of the Opera. That was round two, Monster Movies. Thanks for playing at Tennessee Hills, Bruce Stillery in Johnson City, Tennessee. There you have it, a fun episode on Movie Monsters. That was requested for birthday boy, my friend Bo, who uh, celebrated a birthday that night in Johnson City. So happy birthday a couple weeks ago, Bo, and good pick on the topic. We have one more thing for you today. It's called the fact of the day. And I find these in a lot of fun places, places like under Snapple lids and those bathroom reader, huge Bible sized books, etc. Sometimes I just take them from old Trivial Pursuit game card questions. But here's your fact of the day. A group of horses will not go to sleep at the same time. At least one of them will stay up to watch over the others. That's so nice of horses. I like that they do that. 
Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for, for, for dip, 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 supporting this show on Patreon at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Cheers.